People always ask the question how you have time to do things after work. And one of the things that I try to do is all my passion projects, my stuff with music, my videos, everything like that. So this is kind of like a look into what I do once I get back from work. And if y'all saw earlier, I got back at 630 because I had to take my girlfriend to her meeting and then I came back and that was like right after work. So right now I'm just looking at my sound XYZ and my band camp and I'm trying to make sure that there's music I can add. Uh, I'm trying to do limited edition songs and maybe posting more unreleased songs or looking at the category, making sure I don't post things twice, doing things like that. So this is kind of just like housekeeping for my music things that I do every day because I check these things and make sure that I'm not missing anyone's messages, comments, or anything like that. So now I get to sit back down and kind of go over things. I'm gonna move my keyboard and get my books out so that I can kind of use the desk as a multifunctional space because it's kind of hard to. So I have my study book and this is where I'm putting all this stuff from my Cloud Plus certification, which is what I'm studying for. Um, I got into a beta program, as I said in a different video, and Basically, they gave me like nine days to be able to practice and figure out what I was going to do on this beta test, which I don't know the questions to, but you know, that's what makes it fun, I guess. So that's what I'm kind of opening up now and getting ready. And this is actually my laptop that I do kind of everything on studying wise. Um, I sometimes do like the music kind of admin stuff on the go on this one but I'm turning that on now and kind of getting ready for that but while that gets ready I'm gonna spend some time kind of working on my personal stuff and this computer doesn't stay on if it's super dead so I have to plug it in but uh, working on some personal stuff and kind of figuring out what I'm gonna do next you also just watch me pull out the exact identical book because I use those for basically everything and my computer boots into like a dual OS and so basically I have Linux and Windows on it and Linux is for like practicing code and working on scripts and automation and then I use the Windows 11 for basically everything else like studying and light stuff. And now we're getting into the personal stuff. So one of the things that I do to be able to stay productive and stay focused on the things that I want to like practice or do for videos or anything like that is I open up my idea book and as I wait for my computer to come on, it died out of nowhere. We're gonna get started on that. So I'm opening that up and this is my idea book that I put everything in and I always kind of flip to one of the pages where I have other ideas on. And I kind of do my ideas by days, so I'll come up with a bunch of ideas by writing like ideas for YouTube and then I'll write like personal projects, work projects, and I kind of separate them all out so I don't get too overwhelmed and I can check things off as they go along. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now, I'm making the headings for that. And then I'm going to put all my ideas together and I kind of put days next to them. So right now we're on day 52, so I'm coming up with the day 52 ideas. but as I create the list, if I think that one would fit on a certain day well, I aim to get that idea on that day. So for this day, I had this idea. So I'm kind of planning that out beforehand uh, off screen as y'all have not seen me do that. But for like day 53 or day 54, I'll have those ideas working and thinking of that. I'm trying to multitask because I do have limited time. It's almost like 7.30 in this clip. So I am trying to get my computer ready to be able to study, but also work on my personal stuff so I don't skimp on it because I know that I'm bad at making sure that I do my personal things. And it's part of the reason why I started this challenge in the first place, because it forces me to make time for myself and show up for myself in a way that I don't really do all the time. So I'm still contributing my personal projects. Some of the things I kind of wrote in there were about 
making sure that my music catalog is right, working on a song by February 22nd, and coming up with more ideas so that I don't run dry, because that's one of the hardest parts of this challenge is running dry and kind of being stuck creatively. So it's forcing me to <laughs> go through that. The test is tomorrow at five. So I have to get through like 16 hours of the course I'm working on before five o'clock tomorrow and try and cram it. Cause I got through a good bit last week, but it's tough. And I'm working on that while also trying to organize my personal projects just to give myself a brain break because even though certification is still kind of work and I was just at work and traveling all day. So this is kind of the way that I reset. I do my creative stuff and I get to do that. And then I go back to work stuff. So I'll probably have a little study date with my girlfriend later and we'll study together as she does homework and I do this, but we'll see. So this is more the boring part because I actually have to lock in and work, but I do have to do both. You do have to do the boring parts with the fun parts. And I got to brainstorm, I got to work my personal stuff, but now I really have to like buckle down and do this because I have to literally take it tomorrow. So that's me tying my hair back and locking in and actually paying attention as they speak in 1.75 speed because I got to get through this course. It's just not going to work if I don't. So, you know, even though you have your fun parts, you do have to have the hard parts as well. So that's what we're doing right now. So now that I have you, I'm going to talk about the importance of actually having these passion projects. I know it might seem like a lot and it might seem hard if you're getting back at 6 30, 7 o'clock and trying to do it and frankly it is it can be difficult and swapping between books and stuff look at that um but it's one of those things where you make time for what you want to make time for and if you really want to get better at something and learn something then you're going to make the time for it and years ago i wouldn't have made the time for it like this especially in college i would have made more time for music than anything else but this is the first time i'm actually making time for both and trying to better myself in that way and become better with time management and doing these passion things after work. And that doesn't mean I do it every day, but I, I get pretty darn close because I'm making these videos. So it's one of those things. It's something that I've definitely improved on. No, it can sometimes feel hard to have a hobby after work, but some days it's hard to even work on your personal projects or to work on work projects because doing both is hard. And as you can tell, I'm actually kind of tired. <laughs> it's been a long day and I didn't get much sleep, but I've been able to get some stuff done. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night studying. I have a test tomorrow, so it's gonna be a time and we'll see how it goes. I just wanted to give a more realistic look into how that day can look. I know people can tend to glamorize things and make it feel like everything is so easy, but it's really not. And sometimes it's gonna be a hard day, but I just want to show you the more realistic side of it and yeah, but till then, I'm going to keep doing that. Might read for a little bit later, work on some more music and set up my band camp, make it look nice. And I hope y'all can uh, get some stuff that you need done. I'll see you tomorrow.